Greetings to you all students of the Bible. I want to welcome you to this week's study. We are on lesson number four, which is the topic, the Old Testament hope. Shall we pray? Lord God of heaven, we come before you to know from us this day, thanking you for the gift of life you have granted us. Be with us now as we open your word to learn more about you. Help us to be able to understand everything and uh, live according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, the key text for this week is coming from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17 and 19, and it reads, By faith Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, he who he had received uh, the promises, was ready to offer up his only son. He considered the fact that God is able even to raise someone from the dead. Figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. When we're taking a look at Abraham, he had received Isaac as the son of the promise. But later on, God commanded him to sacrifice him. It is the hope of the resurrection that Abraham had that made him be able to take uh, Isaac and be able to, uh, to sacrifice him. It is that hope that we need even today. If we're able to take this hope that Abraham had, it will help us to live this life and overcome the challenges that it has. The hope of the Old Testament was focused on the biblical principle that there is resurrection after death. When we take a look at Job, Job came to, the, to an extent where he lost everything. He lost his wealth, he lost his children, he lost his, his wealth, and he even he came to an extent where he was sick and he was uh, deteriorating physically. But it is the hope that he had in Christ that kept him going on. Job went to an extent of saying, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. Psalms 49 gives us a contrast between foolish people and wise people in this life that we're living in. There are two groups of people. There are people who live their lives without hope in Christ. They put their hope in their wealth. They put in their hope in, the, in their power. They put their hope in the material things that they have. However, they don't know that these things all will vanish. But if only if we put our hope in Christ, we will have, we'll be able to live this life happily. When we take a look at the psalmist, uh, David, he came to a point where his enemies were after him. Saul was hunting him to be able to take his life. However, because he put his trust in the Lord, he was able to smile even in the difficult times. He was able to overcome the difficult situation that was, he was in because he, his hope was in the Lord. So as we are living, it is only in God that we should put our hope. Learning from Genesis chapter 1, God created everything from nothing. In the beginning, this world was void. It was full of darkness. But it, it was in that nothingness that God created everything. Therefore, when we take a look at this, uh, when we look back at the creation story, we get to know that that same God who created everything from nothing is able to recreate our lives that have become our place. He's able to put back everything into place and make us happy once again. Even if we have lost our jobs, even if we have lost our loved ones, we know that it is the hope that we have in the resurrection that we know that uh, everything else is going to be okay. Uh, one writer, Corey Ten Boom, he says, if you look at the world, you will be distressed. If you look within, you'll be depressed. But if you look at the Lord, you, you will be at rest. It is only when we turn our, our focus on God that we're able to go through all the difficult things of this world. Even our forefathers died with this great hope that they have in the Lord. They managed to overcome difficult situations just because they, have, they had hope in the resurrection that this God who is able to resurrect us, he is able to put back our lives together. He is able to give us hope. He is able to make everything else right for us. And 
I'm saying to you, dear brethren, let us live with this hope. Let us continue to live with this hope, and it will help us to live our lives uh, as if we know that the Lord will come again and take us back home. This is our faith, the Advent hope. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord God of heaven, we come before the throne of mercy this day, thanking you for the word that has come to us. Help us to live our lives with hope because we know that you're always with us and we know that even if we lose everything in this life, we have hope in the resurrection. Thank you today and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.